Welcome back, you beautiful people. Why in this day and age do people still hate mountain biking? I think it's the best sport to enjoy the outdoors with a number of different disciplines, from going as fast as possible downhill to styling it over big jumps and to bust your lungs out at a bit of XC. But this guy still hates mountain biking. This is Ollie Bridgewood from GCN, everyone. You all right? Mm. Cold head? Yeah. Bit muddy for you? Brilliant. We're gonna change his mind for good. No brakes, that's it. But the thing is, you don't actually hate mountain biking, do you? No, I mean, I mean well, my parents say that I'm just a road cyclist at the moment, and, <laughs> and I'm just confused, and it's a phase, and I'll grow out of it. Yeah, and today you are gonna grow up and you're gonna start thinking of what genre of biking you like to do within mountain biking. Mm. That's where you are confused. Are you a downhiller? Are you a cross country? Are you, which we're gonna find out in a minute. But who is Ollie Bridgewood? Or should I say, who is Dr. Ollie Bridgewood? This is Dr. Ollie Bridgewood from GCN Tech. Height 185 centimeters, loves skin suits and talking watts, hates mud, being cold and wet. Well, it's your lucky day today. He has a PhD in organic chemistry, making him a doctor and an author of page turners, including atropos and what? Atropo and antioselective synthesis of substituted biaral lazapines and the synthesis of substituted biaral oxapines as potential vascular disrupting agents. No doubt you'll recall those from the best sellers list, right? Oh yes. Anyway, yeah. oh and loves time trials and hill climbs. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, today's your lucky day. We're gonna find out what genre of man biker you are. Kicking off with jumping, because I think you love jumping. Everyone loves jumping. I absolutely buzz off jumping. It's over there. Follow me. First genre on the cards is jumping. Now I love jumping. And I think it's, it's something that you would love to. No? No. What, all I can see here is mud, rain, and just hazards. Potential <laughs> broken bones <laughs> everywhere. Well, this touch wood, that's not going to happen. But today, we, we're going to help you, right? Little tabletop here. Yeah, touch wood. Little tabletop here. Mm. One bike length. Doesn't look little. Mm, you got it. You nail this, you nail the whole thing. You'll be screaming with joy or screaming with pain if you hit the floor, which you're not going to do today. There's a sign up there yeah. that says, is this trail right for you? Is it? It says it's advanced and hard. It's a red and trail. And it's a red. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm, I'm is there like a, a green? Uh, no, it's autumn, so everything's orange and red. <laughs> Go on, you've got it. I'll, I'll tell you in. It's all about having good times and laps with your mates. It's mountain biking. It says here, <laughs> off-road cycling carries inherent risks. Please consider your skills, abilities, and fitness carefully. Exactly. You ready, Ollie? You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drop it in, yes! <laughs> nailing it. He's getting no air whatsoever using them as rollers. Something tells me he's not a jumper. But let's work on it a little bit. He's kind of come back up. We want to try and get him to clear up and just get, not clear, but let get a bit of air so he can jump. Something tells me he's not a jumper. Do you reckon we can get you to clear one? Or get some air? Because when you're coming into the transition of the, the lip, you want to preload your suspension, like push like you were to hop over a, a pothole on the road. Yeah. And you go, <laughs> and you use your cleats to get yourself up. It's cheating using your cleats, but that's how you would do it on the road. Because you you just clipped in, you don't need to learn this technique that well. Yeah. Because it's easy to jump that. Uh, there, you want to compress in the bowl, the basin, before the lip, compress and drive it up. So you're going up. Uh, 
pushing up. So you're driving it up. And then when you're driving, you stand up a little bit like that. Whoop. Right. Don't pull on the bars. Just, yeah. You've got it. Hmm. Sit, push down now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'll do it again. I was on the brakes. I was on the brakes. Why did you brake? You got this much. Hang on. This much air. No brakes. Oh. oh no, we need more. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Super stoked. Look at that. Thanks, how, man. How addictive is that? Yeah. I mean, I think I reckon a couple more goes at that. Um, no, no. Red Bull Rampage. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Talk about Rampage. Should we hit these drops then? <sighs> Go on. Safe. Right, you ready? My road to Rampage starts here. Your off road yes. to Rampage. <laughs> Not your road, uh, on road. I think you should go first. Okay. Remember, smooth arc off it. Mm. Gnarly, bro. Yeah, dude. No brakes, no brakes, that's it. That's it. We got Dr. Bridgewood about to drop in for a second round of Rampage. Forrest Dean, put your hands together. Oh, shit. Three, two, one, drop in. Oh, he clears the first. Oh. Yeah! The crowd goes wild! This next one, right, I think is way up your street. Yes. Cross country, I reckon you're gonna absolutely thrive at this. Because you've got the hours built into those legs, yep. you've got the mileage built into those legs, you're all about spinning. Cross country is all about spinning. But there's one thing you need to take into account, right, with cross country, is off road skill. Oh. But I think you're gonna love it. good up until that point. But I think you're gonna love it. Right, okay, yeah. cool, yeah. Well, one I'll thing, give it a go. One thing we need to address, we, we're going for a little pedal, but yeah. you're on my full-blown Orbea Rallon Enduro race spec machine. Yeah. So it's got a lot of travel, mm. which is not built for cross country, but it's good for pedaling. Yeah. Uh, did you wanna lead the way or do you want me to lead the way? Uh, you lead, I think it's best if you lead. We're going this way. Okay. Come on, it's a blue trail, it's lovely. country now yes. it is one of your things i reckon mm. you love that don't you i enjoyed that yeah uh, i'd like to have more of a go at that yeah i, I think, think that so. could be my thing yeah in with fat tires i just getting out there on blue trails right the words xc right comes across to people a bit like cross country racing you think you only mm. go out there and go racing all the time no cross country is literally going for a pedal across country yeah it's i like it when it's flowy Blue trail. Is, is that how you did? Super flowy, meandery, yep. single track. You're getting your effort in, mm. fire roads, all that rad jazz. I like going for a pedal. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Now we're going to up the ante. Oh. We're at the top, so we have to go down. Come on, I've got the perfect track. You do this much in road? No. You don't do that much. Oh, you should bring it to road. It's incredible. It's, it's super cool. Anyway, downhill it has every aspect of adrenaline. You've got wet roots, drops, berms, ruts, slop, 
more wet routes, rocks, steep gullies, big drop-offs, jumps, you name it, you can get your adrenaline from downhill. It's full gas. That's it. So we're going by the looks of that over there. I think you might struggle a little bit down here and you might not like downhill. Okay. Are you ready? No. I will go first and uh, I'll shout out some hazards and you just roll them or jump them. You ready? Dropping it. Quite cold now. What do you think of that? It's just really slippy. It's downhill, dude. But it's really slippy. You know, this narrow. Is, this is where you don't jam on brakes. Especially mm, your front. Can't brake. guarantee that, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you got two options here. You got the drop, which you can roll, but you don't want to sump out. And the way that you would come in with a bit of intimidation, you probably slowed down too much. Get your front ring, or uh, front ring? Your front chain ring caught on that and send you over the bar. So I'll take the left lane and then slowly go down there. But there is some routes crossing the trail, so that is a, uh, a big slippery hazard. All right, we can guide you down here for sure. That's it. Go left now. That's it. That's it. Are you scared? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that uh, downhill for you? Oh, God. Keep going. A bit wider here. A bit wider. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> See? Flip it at you! That's really... I'm pretty excited! Well done, Ollie! God, if that was surgery, you would have nailed it! That's a doctor thing, I think. More ruts, especially this one down here where your front wheel does drift, but you've got to know it's drifting, but it will grab grip. And a drop to exit through there. This section is really fast, fun, flowy, but scary at the same time, especially when wet. Here he comes. That's it, Ollie. Keep it. That's it. That's it. Ooh. A little bit quicker. Lay off the brake a little bit because you're you're snapping out the brakes there, yeah. which is sending your body weight over the front loads. Yeah. You don't want that. If you are going to lean back more, but you don't really want to lean back too much right at the beginning of the trail. Because then you fully extended yourself to a point where, it, when you need to lean back, you're you're at the point of too much lean. Look ahead, look ahead. That's it. That's it. What do you think of the downhill? No, well, it was a bit tricky, wasn't it? I, I found that re like really hard. Like, yeah. With it being so wet, I found it really hard. And then the other thing is like years of riding on the road has just automatically conditioned my brain that any time the tire starts to go, yeah. that's very bad. Because <laughs> if it's on the road, yes, it's out. Yeah. So I, I need to learn that confidence okay. that you have of like, it starts to go, you drift a bit and then it grips. Yeah. And, I, and when it's like I'm sliding on a route or a slippy bit of mud, that I, I just Panic. crap my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of downhill? A thing for you or...? I, I mean, I, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I, I, but I think I 
to enjoy it more, I need to get more confidence and more skill on like some easier stuff than that. Yeah, that was a flack. That was a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best thing about mountain bike was well, finishing yeah. off a ride with your mates. Cheers, a nice cold beer. Mm. Mm. On a warm, sunny day. I could get used to this. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, the bike's good as well. Oh, it's nice. But what is the best thing about today? What is the best genre you like? Cross country, I enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, you love that. I could, I'd like to have more of a go. Which one did you dislike the most? Um, I, I didn't really dislike any of it. I just found like, I just found the downhill really hard. But I'd like, yeah, I think I'd, I'd want to do it again. Just need a bit more stuff. A bit more practice. There's a bit, and it comes with practice, doesn't mm. it? Confidence comes with practice and all that rad jazz. It's all about cross country. We should get you racing cross country. What? I could go ride cross country. Race cross country? <laughs> well, let us know in the comments down below if you want to see this chap back on GMBN. Oh, mate, what, uh, what did you do today, by the way? Uh, How many watts? What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. We'll see you around. See ya. See ya.